Open source software development is the process by which open source software, or similar software whose source code is publicly available, is developed. These are software products available with its source code under an open source license to study, change, and improve its design. Examples of some popular open source software products are Mozilla Firefox, Google Chromium, Android, LibreOffice and the Apache OpenOffice Suite. Open source software development has been a large part of the creation of the World Wide Web as we know it, with Tim Berners-Lee contributing his HTML code development as the original platform upon which the Internet is now built. History In 1997, Eric S. Raymond wrote The Cathedral in the Bazaar. 1. In this book, Raymond makes the distinction between two kinds of software development. The first is the conventional closed source development. This kind of development method is, according to Raymond, like the building of a cathedral. Central planning, tight organization and one process from start to finish. The second is the progressive open source development which is more like a great babbling bazaar of differing agendas and approaches out of which a coherent and stable system could seemingly emerge only by a succession of miracles. The latter analogy points to the discussion involved in an open source development process. Differences between the two styles of development, according to Barr and Fogel, are in general the handling of bug reports and feature requests, and the constraints under which the programmers are working. Two. In closed source software development, the programmers are often spending a lot of time dealing with and creating bug reports, as well as handling feature requests. This time is spent on creating and prioritizing further development plans. This leads to part of the development team spending a lot of time on these issues, and not on the actual development. Also, in closed source projects, the development teams must often work under management-related constraints that interfere with technical issues of the software. In open-source software development, these issues are solved by integrating the users of the software in the development process, or even letting these users build the system themselves. Open-source software development model Open-source software development can be divided into several phases. The phases specified here are derived from Sharm et al. 3. A diagram displaying the process data structure of open source software development is shown on the right. In this picture, the phases of open source software development are displayed, along with the corresponding data elements. This diagram is made using the meter modeling and meter process modeling techniques. Equals starting an open source project equals there are several ways in which work on an open source project can start. An individual who senses the need for a project announces the intent to develop a project in public. A developer working on a limited but working code base releases it to the public as the first version of an open source program. The source code of a mature project is released to the public. A well established open source project can be forked by an interested outside party. Eric Raymond observed in his essay The Cathedral and the Bazaar that announcing the intent for a project is usually inferior to releasing a working project to the public. It's a common mistake to start a project when contributing to an existing similar project would be more effective. To start a successful project it is very important to investigate what's already there. The process starts with a choice between the adopting of an existing project, or the starting of a new project. If a new project is started, the process goes to the initiation phase. If an existing project is adopted, the process goes directly to the execution phase. Types of open source projects Several types of open source projects exist. First, there is the garden variety of software programs and libraries, which consist of standalone pieces of code. Some might even be dependent on other open source projects. These projects serve a specified purpose and fill a definite need. Examples of this type of project include the Linux kernel, the Firefox web browser and the Apache OpenOffice Office suite of tools. Distributions are another type of open source project. Distributions are collections of software that are published from the same source with a common purpose. The most prominent example of a distribution is an operating system. There are many GNU Linux distributions which ship the Linux kernel along with many user land components. 
there are other distributions, like Active Perl, the Perl programming language for various operating systems, and SIGWIN distributions of open source programs for Microsoft Windows. Other open source projects, like the BSD derivatives, maintain the source code of an entire operating system, the kernel and all of its core components, in one revision control system. Developing the entire system together as a single team. These operating system development projects closely integrate their tools, more so than in the other distribution based systems. Finally, there is the book or standalone document project. These items usually do not ship as part of an open source software package. The Linux documentation project hosts many such projects that document various aspects of the GNU Linux operating system. There are many other examples of this type of open source project. Open source software development methods It is hard to run an open source project following a more traditional software development method like the waterfall model, because in these traditional methods it is not allowed to go back to a previous phase. In open source software development, requirements are rarely gathered before the start of the project. Instead, they are based on early releases of the software product, as Robbins describes. 4. Besides requirements, often volunteer staff is attracted to help develop the software product based on the early releases of the software. This networking effect is essential according to Abraham Sanayel Euro where if the introduced prototype gathers enough attention, it will gradually start to attract more and more developers a Euro. However, Abraham Sanayel also point out that the community is very harsh, much like the business world of closed source software, a euro or if you find the customers you survive, but without customers you do euro. 5. Alfonso Forgetta mentions that a euro or APID prototyping, incremental and evolutionary development, spiral life cycle, rapid application development, and, recently, extreme programming in the agile software process can be equally applied to proprietary and open source software a euro. 6. One open source development method mentioned by Fugetta is an agile method called extreme programming. All the agile methods are in essence applicable to open source software development, because of their iterative and incremental character. Another agile method, internet speed development, is also suitable for open source software development in particular because of the distributed development principle it adopts. Internet speed development used geographically distributed teams to a euro work around the clock a euro unregistered trademark. This method is mostly adopted by large closed source firms like Microsoft, because only big software firms are able to create distributed development centers in different time zones. Of course if software is developed by a large group of volunteers in different countries, this is being achieved naturally and without the investment needed like with closed source software development. Tools used for open source development. Equals communication channels equals, developers and users of an open source project are not all necessarily working on the project in proximity. They require some electronic means of communications. Email is one of the most common forms of communication among open source developers and users. Often, electronic mailing lists are used to make sure email messages are delivered to all interested parties at once. This ensures that at least one of the members can reply to it. In order to communicate in real time, many projects use an instant messaging method such as IRC. Web forums have recently become a common way for users to get help with problems they encounter when using an open source product. Wikis have become common as a communication medium for developers and users. Equals version control systems equals. In OSS development the participants, who are mostly volunteers, are distributed amongst different geographic regions so there is need for tools to aid participants to collaborate in the development of source code. During early 2000s, Concurrent Version System was a prominent example of a source code collaboration tool being used in OSS projects. CVS helps manage the files and codes of a project when several people are working on the project at the same time. CVS allows several people to work on the same file at the same time. This is done by moving the file into the user's a Euro unregistered trademark directories and then merging the files when the users are done. CVS also enables one to easily retrieve a previous version of a file. 
During mid-2000s, the Subversion Revision Control System was created to replace CVS. It is quickly gaining ground as an OSS project version control system. Many open source projects are now using distributed revision control systems, which scale better than centralized repositories such as SVN and CVS. Popular examples are Git, used by the Linux kernel, and Mercurial, used by the Python programming language. Equals bug trackers and task lists equals. Most large-scale projects require a bug tracking system to keep track of the status of various issues in the development of the project. Some bug trackers include, Bugzilla Euro a sophisticated web-based bug tracker from Mozilla. Mantis Bug Tracker a Euro a web-based PHP MySQL bug tracker. Tracker Euro integrating a bug tracker with a wiki, and an interface to the subversion version control system. Redmin a Euro written in Ruby, integrates issue tracking, wiki, forum, news, roadmap. Gond project planning and interfaces with LDAP user directory. Request tracker a Euro written in Perl. Given as a default to CPAN modules a Euro CRT.CPAN.org. SourceForge and its forks provide a bug tracker as part of its services. As a result, many projects hosted at SourceForge.net and similar services default to using it. LibreSource. JIRA a Euro Atlassian's project management and issue tracking tool. Equals testing and debugging tools equals, since OSS projects undergo frequent integration, tools that help automate testing during system integration are used. An example of such tool is Tinderbox. Tinderbox enables participants in an OSS project to detect errors during system integration. Tinderbox runs a continuous build process and informs users about the parts of source code that have issues and on which platform, s, these issues arise. A debugger is a computer program that is used to debug other programs. GNU Debugger is an example of a debugger used in open source software development. This debugger offers remote debugging, what makes it especially applicable to open source software development. A memory leak tool or memory debugger is a programming tool for finding memory leaks and buffer overflows. A memory leak is a particular kind of unnecessary memory consumption by a computer program, where the program fails to release memory that is no longer needed. Examples of memory leak detection tools used by Mozilla are the XPCOM memory leak tools. Validation tools are used to check if pieces of code conform to the specified syntax. An example of a validation tool is Splint. Equals package management equals, a package management system is a collection of tools to automate the process of installing, upgrading, configuring, and removing software packages from a computer. The Red Hat Package Manager for RPM and Advanced Packaging Tool for Deb File Format, are package management systems used by a number of Linux distributions. Refactoring, rewrites and other revamps, Open source developers sometimes feel that their code requires a revamp. This can be either because the code was written or maintained without proper refactoring, or because a proposed enhancement or extension of it cannot be cleanly implemented with the existing code base. Another reason to revamp the code is that the code does not meet the developer's standards. Publicizing a project, software directories and release logs, the free software directory, articles, Linux Weekly News, IBM Developer Works. See also Open Source Software Security, Software Development Process, Release Management, Software Engineering, Meta Modeling. References Raymond, E.S. The Cathedral and the Bazaar O'Reilly Retrieved from HTTP, www.catb org writings. See also The Cathedral and the Bazaar. Bar, M. and Fogel. K Open Source Development with CVS, 3rd edition. Paraglyph Press. Sharma, S., Sukumaran, V. and Rajagopalan, BA Framework for Creating Hybrid Open Source Software Communities. Information Systems Journal 12, 7 a Euro 25. Robbins, J. E. Adopting Open Source Software Engineering Practices by Adopting OSSE Tools. Making Sense of the Bazaar. Perspectives on Open Source and Free Software, Fall 2003. Abrahamson, 
P. Salo, O. and Walster, J. Agile Software Development Methods, Review and Analysis. BTT Publications. Fugetta, A. Open Source Software A Euro and Evaluation, Journal of Systems and Software, 66, 77 A Euro 90. Mocus, A. Fielding, R. and Herb, J2K Studies of Open Source Software Development, Apache and Mozilla, ACM Transactions on Software Engineering and Methodology 11, 1 Euro 38. External links, Software Release Practice HOWTO by Eric Raymond.